That was the heaviest one, so get that out of your way. Yep. Good. Course management. for the five reps. Means when you start squatting after the swings, your heart rate gets back up again. So fast. Yeah. So, so once you start hitting that eight, eight and a half, even with a little break, you can ramp back up into that. So that's the keys to manage. Eight and a half, touch nine, come back down to seven, back up into the eights. Let's stay in that zone then. Yeah. They don't feel lighter either. Oh, no, when you get tired, it doesn't matter. It's funny though, right? We know it's five reps. We can grind because we know it's five. It's a small little target. So you just fight for it. One rep at a time. Just tell yourself that. As you get tired, it usually works, but not always. With my back being tired now, it really focuses my form. Right? Crazy. That's why, for me, because I don't have the conditioning yet, after the gauntlet of swings, coming over here and doing a controlled squat for my knee and my back, still getting a good squat effect, but I'm able to keep good form. So when we fatigue, it's when we can make mistakes and get injured. So it's always fighting for form. There you go, bud.
five sets of five. We just worry about one set of five reps. Four left. Four left. Do it less than two minutes. Get more tired and get quieter. How many sets we got left, right? One. All right. Last set coming up. There you go guys. Whew. Second conditioning workout this week in the books. As you saw in the first part we did a thing called gauntlets where we lay kettlebells out. Today we went from 12 kilos in 4 kilo increments all the way up to 36 kilos and then back down. And uh, it was uh, 10 swings each so it took me a little over 9 minutes to do that. Uh, so the lighter ones I did alternating swings, heavier ones did double swings. As you see you can see me getting more and more gas as I went along the way. And then in between every set of 10 it was just managing, work on my breathing. Work on some recovery, calming myself, get my mind ready, and then when I pick up that kettlebell, I'll just tell myself, it's just 10 reps. It's just 10 reps, and fight through it. When you get through the end, I started at the beginning light, went to heavy and then back down light. By the time I got to the light ones, it didn't matter if they were light, I was gassed, right? So there I floated with some eight and a halfs, a couple of close to nines, but I would back off until my heart rate came down a bit. So when I say eight, nine, that's out of 10 exertion overall. And then the second round was, uh, Squats. Now, my back and knees are a little dirty, so I didn't do the gauntlet version. Kevin did. What I did is every time he did a set, I did a set. And it was five reps per squat. So I used the 18 inch box for range of motion, a little bit of support for my knee and my back, and I used the 24 kilo all the way through. So 13 rounds of that, I believe it was. And same thing, got gassed. Not to the level the swings did, but after every set of squats, my heart rate come back up because I'm already pre exhausted, right? So that's what we're doing. We're managing that intensity. Uh, from a scale of one to 10, playing within those, those eights and nines. And the swings, it was eights into the nines quite a bit. The squats, it was seven to eight, seven to eight point two five, right, at the end of the day. Uh, and then I did a little bit of core off camera. And again, I'm just adding on a little bit. We're gonna do two conditioning workouts a week. I surprised Kevin this morning when he came in. Um, and this is just a workout I put my group through this morning. 
So I said, hey, listen, I'll do part of it. So again, it's about building on it. So if you're following along, that's what I'm trying to do here is you can start from less than scratch and get some reps in, get some sets in and build on it. And you know what, two conditioning workouts a week, if I stay consistent with that, every two, two and a half weeks, I'm gonna be 20, 25% fitter and be able to do more in the same amount of time. It's not about going longer and longer. I like these, it was eight to 12 minutes, today was probably about 20 minutes. I don't wanna go much longer than that. I just wanna be able to do more within that 20 minutes. And that's where we see a sign of our workload capacity increasing because our conditioning is getting better so we can handle more before we redline too much. And a lot of variety, so it's different types of things, but still uh, manageable overall. So uh, we'll, uh, I think Saturday's coming up for Thursday. Uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna do some steady state cardio. And then Saturday it's heavy bench day, so we'll film that as I usually do the whole workout. Talk to you guys later.